We're going to visit the Covered Bridge capital, the Northeast Kingdom, Linden, Vermont, and do a little tour of their covered bridges. So there's five of them? Correct. The description at each one, which we'll be reading as we go by. Welcome to Linden, the covered bridge capital of Vermont's Northeast Kingdom, serving the utilitarian purpose of getting people and cargo safely across the river and roofed to protect the sides and trusses from the temperamental Vermont weather. Vermont's covered bridges are a reminder of the pastimes. Though built for crossing, a covered bridge in the old days has been known to protect a load of hay from a sudden thunder shower, provide a secluded spot for a couple to steal a kiss, or serve unintentionally as a roost for the huge flocks of turkeys. The covered bridges in Linden have had their shingle roofs replaced by practical metal. However, Linden is lucky having the five covered bridges remaining. These bridges are often sought out by visitors to photograph and admire and are appreciated by many natives who recognize their value as part of their Vermont Yankee heritage. Today, we bring you to the Sanborn Bridge. A bridge of some kind was built in 1858 when a road was constructed across the meadow connecting Linden Center with farms on the eastern side of the Pasumac River. <laughs> At that time, there was no village of Lindenville. After the high water of 1886, the Vermont Union reported Selectman Cunningham commenced last Monday extensive repairs of the center bridge, having to put it in a new abutment part of a new roof. In 1960, this bridge was moved across town to its present location on the grounds of Lindbergh Motel. The bridge was preserved for it, has been considered one of the finest examples of the Pettleford type constructed in the state in 1869 near the junction of U.S. Route 5 and State Route 114. Let's take a gander.
this is the Miller Runs Bridge. This is 1995 Linden Center Route 122. I guess that's when they redid it. I don't know. In 1800, a special tax was levied to construct... <laughs> I'm going to do that over. <laughs> Miller's Run Bridge. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Miller's Run Bridge. In 1800, a special tax was levied to construct a bridge near the mouth of Miller's Run. Repaired in 18... 16 and rebuilt in 1841 it must have been an open bridge for the first reference on record of a covered bridge being there appears in the vermont union in august 1878 the selectmen have completed the new covered bridge over miller's run in 1995 the bridge was completely replaced with a covered walkway one-way traffic is permitted the bridge is noted for being the last covered to be used in the state highway system We are right here in Route 122. Heart? Oh, that's not a heart. Fire <laughs> <laughs> <Far> away. <laughs> oh, the Randall covered bridge. In 1965 a new cement bridge was built at this point across the East Branch Pasumpsic River. However, realizing the great loss and the destruction of the covered bridges, the bridge was left to preserve one more example of the craft and beauty inherited from the covered bridge builders. It now serves as a snowmobile crossing. 1865 north of Lindenville just off of Route 114.
Poolhouse Bridge, 1879, at the junction of U.S. Route 5 and South Wheelock Road. In 1872, a road was built connecting the now South Wheelock Road and Chapel Street, U.S. Route 5, at Linden Corner. Records show that the covered bridge was built in 1879. John Clement laid the abutments. J.C. Jones drew the plan of the woodwork, and Lee Goodell framed and supervised the building of it. Off-street parking and a picnic table are available. Interesting. We are now at the Chamberlain Mill Bridge off of South Wheelock Road on Chamberlain Mill Road or something. Chamberlain Mill Bridge. Though the mill is gone, the foundation still stands. A 1795 map shows a bridge crossing the branch of the river at this point. This stream today is designated on maps as Branch Brook and flows into the Pasumpsic Pasumpsic River. In August 1881 newspaper, the Vermont Union says the Chamberlain Bridge at the west end of the village, Linden Corner, is having a new abutment and is to be built over into a covered bridge. 1881 Linden Corner connecting York Street and South Wheelock Road. Chamberlain Union. 